the last video we how implement traditional pagination with the firebase which is endless scroll but when we update the data from any device it doesn't show the real-time update or synchronize the data so today video we will implement the firebase which will synchronize the data without refreshing the whole items as we can see in this preview when we change the data on the firebase and the data item is refreshed with the new value change Anyways, please note that in the library that we're going to work with, we are not support the pagination function. Means, if we want the real-time chain data, we have to set limit number of the data to display at once load in the recycle view items. Okay, now we're going to apply this in our current project. So, we're gonna open the Gradle file. And then, we're gonna add new dependencies, which is a Firebase UI with the single line, okay? So then we're going to open all the activity class, which we help implement many stuff to performing the endless scroll. We're gonna use this class again by just remove all of those code inside this activity because we just want to show how we actually implement the real-time recycle view item without redesign the layout and we coding again over again. And here we just uh, keep the sum of them, recycle view reference, the RO class to access the data. And in on correct methods, we have set the recycle view to the layout nature. And we have set a fixed size to the recycle view. Then we need to instance the Firebase option to prepare the data work with the recycle view. So let's instance new object, Firebase recycler option. Then we're going to pass the type which is the employee, the model class. And now we're gonna call a method set query with the first parameter is the O class to get some amount of data. So let's just create a new method get in the DO class. We're gonna name the method get without any parameter with the return type query. Then inside the body, we can return the data reference back because my data have a little amount. That's why I don't have to get limit some data to display. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the RV activity and now we can call that method get. And the second parameter is the model class, which we have to pass the model class employee. But here we're not going to do that. In this case, we're gonna implement a custom class because we have to set the record key manually into our setter property. So let's say new and then hit the type key to autocomplete. And this method's gonna leave the data with this parameter which allow to use the object for the employee data by just getting those value into the employee object. Okay, so we're gonna write down the employee EMP equal to a snapshot which is the parameter and then dot get value with the employee model class and this employee object will hold the info data which have the name and the position and each record of the firebase have a unique key so we have to set those key into the employee key property to do that we are gonna get from a data snapshot dot get key and then we're gonna set those into the employee property. And then now we're gonna return this employee back to the method. And the last method with dot build. Okay, after that we have to implement the risk view adapter, which is in the Firebase UI package, to plug and play the employee data with the risk view. So let's instance new object. Firebase Recycle View Adapter. And we're gonna hit the tab to override all the methods. And here we have to choose for default without a put of type with it. Or we can define the specific with the type if you want. The types here have to specify which view holder is and the model class is. And example, we have an employee which is the model class and the employee view holder for the view holder class. 
but by now we're gonna implement the methods without a specific those types. And here we're gonna pass the Firebase option into the constructor. After that, we will implement the body method with it. As we see here, the method is very familiar on grab view holder and on bind view holder, which we have ever seen this before in the custom adapter class. So let's go to copy those in RV adapter class. On bind view holder, we're gonna copy this. And then we're gonna paste it back. And for on grab view holder, we're gonna copy and paste it. Okay, now let's fix this variable. Now we can see here the parameter is the view holder and the object is the superclass because we didn't specify the type at once when we instance the adapter. But don't worry, we can cast the object into the specific type. In the remove option, we can comment this line because in this adapter is many all the things that we need. Well, actually in this class, we also can listen whenever the data change. Something means when other user edits or adds new data, we can know this by overriding a method on data change. So let's override that. And we're gonna print out the message. Let's say data chain. Before we can uh, start the app, we have to register the app listener, which on start. Then we have to unregister the listener in on stop methods. Now we're gonna run this app for testing how it's gonna be work. Then we're going to web. We're gonna click this button and we're gonna change some text. Okay, okay, we can see here the recycle view item have changed. And even if we do remove data, it also remove from the view too. Alright, so that's all for today. We learned how to make the risk view since the real-time data with the small chain adapter. Hope you would like this video and please subscribe, like, share. I will see you in the next video.